Hello, I'm Vanessa Spite from the University of Sheffield, representing the Environmental and Water Resources Institute project on WDSA history. The purpose of this project is to document the history of water distribution system analysis. An important part of this project is to interview engineers, modelers, researchers, and practitioners who've made significant contributions to the field. Our interview today is with Olivier Pillier, who is from the French National Research Institute in Science and Technology for the Environment and Agriculture in Bordeaux. He has been in the forefront of water distribution system analysis for quite some time and continues to make significant contributions. His work in academia in France and the EU has contributed considerably, particularly in the security field. This interview is being conducted in Leicester, UK, as part of the Computing and Control for the Water Industry Conference on September 4th, 2015. So, Olivier, you've been working now for quite some time in water distribution. Can you tell us how you first got your start in this field? <coughs> Thank you, Vanessa. Oh, it was uh, some time ago, 20 years ago, and I made my PhD at Yastea. Uh, it was about uh, modeling distribution system, uh, calibration, and uh, sensor placement. So I did uh, that PhD during, during three years, and after uh, I worked for the, for ESTR Institute. This is the new name for Semagraph. And for all that time, uh, I have been working for uh, modeling. Uh, what are the distribution system? At the very same institute this whole time, that's very interesting. Yeah. So, can you tell us a bit about how your work, what the work you were doing then and how it's changed now? What the details? Okay. Yeah. okay. So, um, at the very beginning, so it was a PhD thesis, so, you know, the, the, the subject was um, first making uh, a software uh, not equivalent to EPNet, but quite different uh, for the hydraulic, so the, the flow and, and the nodes. Uh, then, uh, later on, after the PhD, uh, I have been working on water quality uh, and uh, a lot of problems like uh, pressure driven modeling, uh, optimization problem. Uh, and uh, variety, uh, uh, variety of the different models. So you've worked on developing the Porto software. That's that one of the yes, software models. Yes, yes. Yeah, you're and good <laughs> informed. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so, do you yes. feel that's that's helped your career to have a software product that you can present to other people, and and mm -hmm. does that help you collaborate with other people? Yeah. So <coughs> that software uh, exists from thirty years. Uh, yeah, so my task was just, you know, to improve the, the software and to complete uh, towards uh, some new modules. Um, of course, we have made some link with the EPNet in order to exchange data. Uh, and, yeah. Um, and it was, it was very interesting because, you know, uh, so I was developing the, the software and then we have also at that time, it was uh, a software which is uh, sold, uh, which was sold. So we had a relationship with clients, and they, they said, "Oh, there is a problem here. Well, what can you do to 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 improve?" And or oh, we need th this new module, uh, and so. And have you worked with many people over your career? Can you tell us about some of the people you worked with and how you worked with them? So, uh, first, I have some colleagues uh, at uh, Yastea. Uh, they are working on, on modeling optimization, but also uh, rehabilitation. You know, you change the pipe and uh, knowing uh, all the story for the pipe failure, and you can uh, pre reiterate some pipes. Um, so, I have been working with the big uh, group in France. So, there are three big groups, uh, Veolia or Valmont. Uh, from my PhD and uh, for uh, all the, 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 the subject for modeling, water quality and no security, web placing sensors and source identification. Uh, I, I have been working with Suez environment 
uh, more or rehabilitation. Uh, and uh, I have some experience with uh, SOR, this is the, the third group uh, in France, uh, with uh, water quality uh, problem to solve. Uh, and then recently, uh, I am the coordinator for some project, uh, French and uh, German project. So this is funding by, by that uh, two uh, countries. And I am working with some water utilities, uh, Berlin, uh, so in Germany, uh, uh, Strasbourg uh, in France, and also VEDIF, uh, which is Veolia Environment Eau uh, Ile de France, it's in French. And this is the suburb of Paris. So we are working about security, uh, sort of placement. Uh, in a further project, uh, which is uh, FP7, this is uh, European uh, Committee, I was working also with London. Uh, so, yeah, I have some experience with uh, some uh, private company, but also uh, we have in France some uh, public water utility as well. So, do you feel your research is very practical or is it more research in the lab or do you do some of both? Yes, I, I try to do uh, both. Uh, so, by training, I'm an applied mathematician. So, I like also uh, working on, you know, for the formulation of the problem, existence, unicity, and so on. Uh, but uh, it should be useful. Uh, so, uh, I had to, 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 to change my, my mind and to, to, to make uh, products that are uh, applicable as well. So when you did math as your training, how did you learn about water, or how did you move to water for your PhD? Was that a professor who you met, or something else? Yes, so yes, so there was uh, that uh, opportunity uh, to go for, for water, so I just applied and, and, uh, and arrived. And for me, uh, it was like, you know, uh, not very different for power system distribution, so you just have the equation that change. So, yeah. So do you now work with younger engineers and younger modelers, and, and how do you feel about them coming into this field, and how do you get them interested in water? Yeah. So uh, we are a research institute, so we can also uh, uh, form a new engineer, and we have uh, each year two, three uh, young engineers. So they are making uh, the, the traineeship at the ISTA. And we have also uh, PhD students. So it could be an uh, engineer that uh, want to make a, a, a PhD student. So um, they all have uh, fine uh, rapidly work after being it at ISTA because of the three private group, for example. Uh, and they are involved in project, you know, uh, th that last project, uh, Smart Online uh, and uh, Resi Water. Maybe I can explain that project yeah. later. No, please do explain. Yeah, yeah. So um, uh, Smart Online is a project uh, uh, which I was a coordinator. Uh, it starts. It start. Uh, it start maybe uh, four years ago, and ended this year in April. And it was about uh, uh, water security. But what we was new. Uh, was the idea, you know, to have a reliable model online. So, <coughs> uh, why uh, to have a reliable model? This is, once you detect something on your system, it is more easy and more accurate, you know, uh, the, the, the source identification. And after you can also uh, replay back uh, to, to, to have the, the whole contamination extent. So we have, we have that project, and no uh, new one. This is about uh, resi uh, resilience uh, of uh, critical infrastructure, and and water distribution network is uh, critical infrastructure as well. So uh, resilience against uh, some threat, natural risk, uh, terrorist attack, uh, but also a cascade event between the power system and uh, water di distribution network as well. So in all that uh, project, we have postdoc and PhD students involved. So we form that, uh, that engineer 
and so we try to to, to give them the the, the volonté to, to, to like the research you know this is the the, the main idea Great. so where do you think the water field is going what's what does the future look like in water distribution okay um, there is one problem uh, at least in France is that uh, for example uh, the 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 level of change you know the the level of rehabilitation is less than needed so you will have more and more problem burst leakage and so on um, and there is also the that uh, climatic change maybe maybe uh, we will have natural risk and so on so we will need more and more uh, uh, tools you know to 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 manage the 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 system uh, efficiently, uh, resilience tools, for example, uh, this kind of things. So you've worked a lot with sensors, and I think there's still some water utilities that are afraid, they think they're very expensive. Can you talk about how your experience with installing the sensors and running them over longer times and how that's worked, and it's mm -hmm. is it valuable or not? Yes, so no. At that time, there are sensors that, are, that cost uh, less than 1,000 euros and uh, they are working for one year, you know. So the problem is more the installation cost. This is about uh, 2,000 euros or more, it depends on the, the situation. Uh, so my, I have contact with large cities, so they, 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 they start to install the sensors and they have no problem for, for the cost. So they have maybe in the distribution system uh, VDIF at uh, 200 sensors. So this is quite good uh, for uh, 8,000 kilometers of, of uh, pipelines. Uh, Strasbourg, uh, this is about uh, 70 uh, sensors. But this is not only a sensor, they install some uh, big box, you know, with a lot of sensors inside. Uh, that costs more. 10,000 uh, euros um, and Berlin also uh, as well so uh, I believe that it comes the times you know uh, where where you can have uh, cheap sensors uh, not necessarily to, to, to expensive sensors because the expensive sensors you can place them for critical place you want to protect this is about 10,000 euros but for in the, the distribution field you need to install the sensors because you could have a lot of problems. And, and also you could improve the, the management and so Great. Um, do you have any other comments you want to make? Uh, any advice to the future engineers? Okay. Uh, so I have been in the field for 20 years now and it was always a pleasure you know, to work on uh, some challenge, a difficult uh, uh, challenge. Sometimes I succeed, sometimes not, but this is life. So thank you uh, for your interview. Thank you.